Nick Nia ya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently spent five days in Penang, Malaysia, staying with family as my partner's mother is Malaysian and she still has an apartment in Penang and still has lots of family living there. This was my first visit to Penang and I found it very culturally rich with a strong Malay, Chinese and Indian heritage. Malaysia's tropical island state of Penang is filled with European shop houses, Chinese temples and clan houses, mosques, Hindu temples, British colonial buildings and some of the best street food in Asia. Its capital city of Georgetown was listed as a World Heritage Site for its unique architectural and cultural townscape. People of Penang are very focused on food and locals' days revolve around their meals, which are all eaten out at either local hawker centres or restaurants. Our first day in Penang, I wanted to explore Georgetown and its famous street art scene. But first, breakfast. We headed to Sri Ananda Barwan Garden Restaurant at 225 McAllister Road, which is an Indian restaurant chain. The food here is so cheap and pretty delicious. We ordered the plain dosai, which was 83 cents Australian, and a Teeteric tea, which is the famous long pour tea, which was the same price. So the total cost of breakfast was $1.65 Australian. Then it was off to discover Georgetown. Georgetown is one of those rare frozen in time cities which mingles with today's modern lifestyle while maintaining its historic charm. I absolutely loved exploring Georgetown and wish I could have spent more time there. Georgetown is a must visit spot in Malaysia and is without a doubt the king of street art. Hundreds of murals are painted on the walls in a small radius of the old town which has now developed into one enormous art trail. You can explore easily on foot or you can hire a scooter for about 20 ringgit per hour if you are short on time. I will put a link to the street art map in the description below. In 2012, the street art scene exploded after the artist Ernest Zakharovichum, I probably said that wrong, now known as Asia's Banksy, created six wall paintings that included physical elements in the celebration of the annual Georgetown Festival. The murals soon became famous worldwide and one in particular, Children on a Bicycle, is one of the most photographed spots in the city. My personal favourite is Boy on a Bike, found in Arqui Street. You can't wander the streets without seeing some form of street art, it's really cool. Another really cool art installation that we came across in Georgetown was Umbrella Alley in Armenian Street. This charming and picturesque laneway has gained fame for its colourful and suspended umbrellas that create a captivating canopy overhead. It's a great place to take a reprieve from the tropical sun, but also serves as a whimsical backdrop for visitors seeking the perfect Instagram worthy shot.
After all that exploring, we had worked up an appetite, so we headed to New World Park Food City in Georgetown, where locals head for Penang Hawker food. We got the sour fun and the charque tiao, which are two authentic Malaysian dishes. They're good? Yes. The heat in Malaysia can be unbearable, so we had an ice kacang and a chendol for dessert after lunch to cool down. Ice kacang consists of shaved ice doused in colourful sweet syrups and evaporated milk, jellies, red beans and topped with creamed corn. It sounds like a weird combination but it tastes so good. Again, these dishes are so cheap they cost about $5 Australian for lunch and dessert combined. These desserts are so refreshing, cooling and delicious and just what you need in the heat of the day. And chendol, which is the green dessert, is coconut milk based and I really loved this one. Another awesome thing to see and do in Penang is Komta Tower, which is an iconic skyscraper located in the heart of Georgetown. Standing at 249 meters or 816 feet tall, it is the tallest building in Penang and one of the most recognizable landmarks on the island. Completed in 1986, the tower is a symbol of modernization and urban development in Penang. One of its most popular attractions is the Rainbow Skywalk and Observatory Deck on the top floor offering breathtaking panoramic views of Georgetown and the surrounding areas. The open air Rainbow Skywalk is at level 68 on the rooftop of Komta giving visitors the thrilling experience of walking on air. The glass skywalk extends out from the tower allowing visitors to walk on a transparent surface while enjoying breathtaking views. It is a favourite spot for photography. From the skywalk you can enjoy panoramic 360 degree views of Penang Island, the coastline, the cityscape and even glimpses of Penang Bridge. The views are incredible. The glass on the skywalk is designed to be strong and safe for visitors to walk on. Meanwhile, the air-conditioned observatory deck on level 65 also features a glass floor that you can walk on. This is a freaky feeling when you are so high and can see everything below you. It's a really cool experience. Tickets are about 67 ringgit, which equates to about $20 Australian per person. The next must-visit destination in Penang is Penang Hill, renowned for its breathtaking panoramic views of the island and the surrounding Adaman Sea. Getting to the top of the hill is super fun with a ride on an old funicular railway. The funicular train is the longest in Asia at 1996 meters. The funicular tunnel at 79 meters long holds the world's record as the steepest funicular tunnel in operation. The funicular train runs every day from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. and a return ticket costs 30 ringgit for a standard tourist ticket or 80 ringgit for a tourist fast lane ticket. The trip up takes seven minutes and it's one of the steepest train rides I've ever been on. There is a lot to see and do at Penang Hill and most people head straight to the viewing platform. But my favorite thing that we saw on Penang Hill were the gorgeous little monkeys. We got lucky as they were jumping across the roof to the phone box near the viewing platform and one of the mamas had a tiny little baby that was yellow. After checking out the views, we headed up to David Brown Restaurant and Tea Terrace behind the viewing platform. Here we had perfect views over Penang Island while we enjoyed some refreshing cocktails as we watched the sun go down. <laughs> The 
There is also a really cool mosque and Hindu temple right behind the restaurant with a very unique and cool design and construction that you must see. The next thing to add to your list of things to see and do in Penang are the beautiful temples and mosques. Even if you aren't religious, they are really worth seeing. The first one we visited was Dharmakarama Burmese Temple in Georgetown, which is a serene and culturally significant Buddhist temple renowned for its beautiful architecture and peaceful ambience. Established in 1803, it is the first Burmese Buddhist temple in Malaysia and serves as a spiritual center for the Burmese Buddhists and visitors alike. The temple's stunning golden pagoda, intricate sculptures and lush gardens make it a popular tourist attraction and a place for meditation and reflection in Penang. The Chaya Mangalaram <laughs> Thai Buddhist temple is a striking and revered religious site. It is most famous for its colossal reclining Buddha statue, which measures 33 meters or 108 feet in length, making it one of the largest in the world. The temple complex also features exquisite Thai architecture and is a place of worship and contemplation for both locals and tourists, offering a serene atmosphere for spiritual reflection and appreciation of Thai Buddhist art and culture. And if you only want to see one temple in Penang, make it Kekloksi Temple. This is one of Southeast Asia's most magnificent and significant Buddhist temples. To get here, you can drive or take the bus 203 or 204 from Julia Street or Komtar right to the base of the temple. Kekloksi is magnificent. Its grand centerpiece is the towering seven-tiered pagoda known as the Pagoda of 10,000 Buddhas, which showcases a blend of Chinese, Thai and Burmese architectural styles. Nestled amongst lush greenery, this sprawling temple complex also houses various halls, gardens and statues, including a giant bronze statue of Quan Yin, the goddess of mercy, and the views over Penang Island are absolutely stunning. The floating mosque, officially known as Majid Terapong, is a stunning and unique architectural landmark. This mosque stands out for its picturesque location right on the shores of Tanjung Bunga Beach, appearing to float on the water during high tide due to its beautiful design. Its elegant blend of traditional Islamic architecture with modern elements makes it a symbol of religious harmony in Penang. Now being a landscape and travel photographer, of course I sussed out amazing places to photograph at sunrise and sunset. The clan jetties was number one on my bucket list as they basically are a landscape photographer's dream come true. A rickety old jetty surrounded by water facing the perfect direction for sunrise. And thankfully the morning we went there, the sky lit up with some pinks and purples. You can visit the clan jetties during the day too. The clan jetties are a unique and historic waterfront settlement representing the city's multicultural heritage. 
These traditional wooden stilt houses were built by Chinese immigrants in the 19th century, organized into separate jetties, each belonging to a different Chinese clan. Each jetty has its own character and cultural identity, preserving its customs and traditions. Another really cool thing to check out while you are in Penang is the Blue Mansion, which is an historic and architectural gem known for its stunning blend of Chinese and European design influences. Also called the Cheong Fat Tea Mansion, it was built in the late 19th century by the wealthy Chinese merchant Cheong Fat Tsi. The mansion's vibrant blue exterior, intricate ceramic decorations, and detailed wooden carvings make it an iconic landmark. Beyond its striking appearance, the Blue Mansion serves as a boutique hotel and museum, offering guided tours that provide insights into its rich history and the life of its former owner. It's a captivating testament to Penang's cultural heritage and a must-visit attraction for architecture and history enthusiasts. Interesting fact, Xiong Fatsi, the prominent Chinese merchant and philanthropist, had eight wives during his lifetime. This was not uncommon for wealthy individuals of his status in traditional Chinese society during the late 19th and early 20th centuries when polygamy was practiced. Batu Ferengi, located on the northern coast of Penang Island, is a renowned popular beach resort destination known for its picturesque beaches, vibrant nightlife and water sports activities. Its name, which translates to Foreigner's Rock, reflects its reputation as a tourist hotspot. Visitors flock to Batu Ferengi for its long stretch of sandy shoreline where they can sunbathe, swim, or engage in water sports like parasailing and jet skiing. It's also a really great spot to capture a beautiful sunset. Another beautiful beach to check out while you are in Penang is Bora Bora Beach near the Chinese Swimming Club. I loved this location for sunset photos as you get some of the high rises along the coastline with the sun going down behind them and there were some beautiful rocks in the water to photograph too. A new man passing by, life is good, best I ever found Get me up, so me, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the Time to share some of the best hawker locations around Penang for food. Viva Local Food Haven in Penang is a bustling and vibrant food market where visitors can savour an array of delicious local dishes and street food specialities in a lively and authentic atmosphere. We tried an array of curry, some spring rolls, some tofu, and we had the sour plum drink, which was in interesting flavour, and it was all so, so cheap. Fettus Park Market Food Corner is a bustling culinary hub that captures the essence of Malaysian street food culture. Visitors can explore a diverse range of hawker stalls serving up mouth-watering local delicacies from Chakwe Tiao and Lazi Namak to satay and rojak and tea in a bag, which I thought was so strange. The atmosphere is lively and casual, making it an ideal spot for both locals and tourists to indulge in authentic Malaysian flavours while soaking in the bustling ambience of this food lover's paradise. What is it? In a bag. In a bag. Yeah, 
And of course, we had to try some durian, which is a tropical fruit famous for its pungent and unique aroma and its custard-like flesh. This was my face when trying it for the first time. <laughs> my favorite hawker center in Penang was Batu Lanchang Market Food Court because they had all the delicious local sweets and desserts. And this is how fat we got after 10 days of constant eating through Singapore and Malaysia. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen my Singapore video, I will link it above. And please go and check that one out. See you in the next one.